What's going on YouTube? It's the Game Zombie here with an all new video on Mortal Kombat 11. So I just want to give you guys a fair warning, spoiler alert, I will be talking about some minor details from the game story mode, so if you guys haven't played it yet or are holding off, please click off the video now. So the game is officially out, people have been playing it non-stop, I myself am still getting used to the game's mechanics, but the story mode is definitely by far probably the best fighting game story mode ever made. NetherRealm Studios clearly put a lot of time and money into this production, but with that, there's still some confusion. So early on when Mortal Kombat 11 was announced, immediately people were saying that one of the employees, I think it might have even been Ed Boon supposedly, said that there will not be NPC fights in the game like MKX. You will not fight against non-playable characters that aren't in the game's roster. So just like the debacle with Rain and MKX where they gave him his own render, they gave him his own moveset, and you were able to play against him, you were not able to play as him. Supposedly, NRS was on the record saying they would not make that same mistake for MKX, but yet that is clearly not the case. In Chapter 4 of Mortal Kombat 11 Story Mode, you not only fight against Sector, but Cyrax as well. And let me tell you, they look badass. As a Cyrax main, I couldn't be happier with the way that they made him look. He looks slick as fuck, he has emotions and his own personality, and I really like the artistic direction that they took him in. That being said, he is not a playable character in the game. Now, a NetherRealm Studios employee has gone on the record as of this week and said there are no unlockable characters in the crypt, and I myself have released the full fatality list for MK11, confirming that Frost is currently the only unlockable character in the game, aside from Shao Kahn, who is a pre-order bonus. Meaning, there are no other hidden characters in the game, meaning that as of right now, Cyrax and Sector are not playable characters. So, what the fuck? To this day, I have not been able to find this quote or the statement saying that you will not be able to fight against NPCs, but it looks like NetherRealm Studios has learned nothing from the whole Rain incident. And as a Cyrax main, that's really frustrating because I would like nothing more but to play as my favorite character. Now recently, some data was mined via the Nintendo Switch version and the entire DLC roster for MK11 was seemingly revealed. And in that list, neither Cyrax or Sector were to be found. So currently the way it sits is that we will not be getting Cyrax and Sector despite NRS making full-on 3D renders and giving these characters their own moveset and even giving them a significant role in the game's story mode. That's really frustrating because the only cybernetic ninja that we're getting in the game is Frost and honestly she's more of some weird Inspector Gadget, Iron Man, Sub-Zero hybrid. She's definitely not of the traditional cyber initiative and if you guys have played the game or seen any footage you know exactly what I'm talking about. And as a lifelong fan of Cyrax I would like nothing more but my character to be in the game especially because he just looks so fucking badass. That being said I would love to get your guys thoughts on whether or not you think they're ever going to be in the game. Do you guys want them to be in the game? Are you guys disappointed that NetherRealm Studios is just pulling the same old stupid shit? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did feel free to hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe.